Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 100 of Don't Starve Rain of Giants. Wow, that's nuts. We have finally hit the 100, 100 episode milestone, and we also just hit a dead end, so what else is new? Still worrying about wetness, obviously. I'd love to be using the muggles right now, but moisture needs to go back down. I'm going to have to get this umbrella repaired soon. Oh, what the hell am I doing? Chester's back. I'm sure somebody's screaming at me. I can start dropping a few things off in you, Chester. Uh, let's see. I, I just realized I have two stacks of these light bulbs. <laughs> look, look at that. It was a poor decision. It lowered the durability because it combined the stacks. Not worried about it. We're going to go find some new ones. In fact, this is a really easy way to get rot. and I've done that before. So, look at a lot of rot doing this. Uh, what else am I going to drop off in your face hole? Not much. I can keep what I have. We'll be fine. So, let's map the rest of this area out, and then very likely I'll head back to the surface. We'll throw in our Iceling Amatics, get anything I think I'll need for the trip. Uh, when I say trip, that means we're going to be making a base basically in the ruins. Uh, it's eh, I won't need a drying rack because I'm not Wilson. Sandy shouldn't be an issue because I ought to be able to wear the Tam Shanter down there. It shouldn't be raining, and plus, when it's summer, there's not going to really be rain in the ruins, or the caves. I, I, I can't remember, because I haven't done it in Raid of Giants. I just remember, like, vaguely reading about it. But I thought that the water drips in the ruins, but I don't know about your wetness when it's actually raining. I feel like we'll be okay. Of course, we'll check it out when we go there, but just something to be mindful of. Let's get some use out of these things before they go bad. Alright, so we're scoping this area out. This is a slightly different colored ground. I wonder what that is. Is that mud? Doesn't look like the fungal biome. And this looks like it's already a dead end. Yeah, that was quick. <laughs> there's one more thing down here, and then there's that big red mushroom biome. Big red. <laughs> big red mushroom biome up north. What do we got here? Dead end? Uh, no, it's branching off. Nah, I'm feeling this is going to be a dead end. Alright, we know that that doesn't connect anywhere. Sanity is at 75. We have three pieces of jerky for some instant sanity. Beyond that, we're going to have to rely on the Tamo Shanter. Wait for my wetness to get down a little bit more. And we'll equip that. And then I'll be happy. So, nothing else to explore on the left. We need to head over here. And this will very likely be all of the caves. All of the caves explored. Not the ruins, but all of the cave layer. There's all. There's obviously also other caves for me to explore, but that's it for this cave. Are we going the right way? Yes, we are. So this is likely a dead end. Let me explore this one first. And now it just loops around. Wait, yeah. Well, hold on. This is probably just a bunch of nothing. Let's check. Obviously, let's watch out for rocks. Yeah, nope. No, no, nope. 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 Don't hit me, please. Nope. Some light bulbs over where we're going to be headed anyway, so that'll be nice. Yep, dead end. Figured. I don't need another piece of flint. Well, if I ever need rocks or something, I know where to go. Just beat the rock lobsters to it, and then you'll be good. That's, that's also asking for a lot. Yeah, I see you, buddy. You get out of here. We've got things to do. Things to do, places to be. Do that. Uh, here are rock lobsters. So, if I want a rock lobster, pal, I know where to get one. And our moguls are at 100%, so I'm not going to worry about a glowberry at the moment. But I should start gathering some. We know where a few depth worms are if I want to get them. I don't want to. I don't want to kill it now because as soon as I kill it, the glowberry countdown begins. It don't last very long to begin with, so I'm gonna hold off on it. I'll, I'll bring the mongols with some glowberries for sure when we go in the ruins. I want to really be able to see the ruins. That, that'll be a new experience for me. And two days until summer, so we need to kick it into high gear. We're gonna have to leave, set up our ice flingomatics get anything I think I will need down here ready and uh, I'll put it silk logs and a hound teeth yeah we'll bring some hound teeth down here so I can make some sewing kits so I can keep the tamo shanter going tamo shanter is going to be our lifeblood that's going to be my sanity for me to survive in here I won't really be rely relying on jerky I'll be relying a lot more on monster meat which I said I wasn't gonna kill these guys but uh, I don't want to bring Rock Lobster to the surface. Hello. This this is one of the many reasons why I don't want to bring Rock Lobsters to the surface. Apparently they still spawn on the surface no matter what. They just, like, 
navigate home. It's like a really derpy mechanic they have, and the only way to fix it is with mods or cheats. And it may get to the point where I have to fix it, because it, it can get so bad it'll lag your world. We've already had issues where when we come down into the caves, there, if you've seen it, I'm sure you have, there's just so many of them there, to the point where it lags your game. Like, you, like not terrible yet. It definitely gets framey, but it could get really bad. Like, you see how they're all migrating over here to the right? Those guys are probably heading back to the cave entrance, and they're going to congregate there. And it's just a problem. I am fully aware. So, we have fully explored the surface. As far as I'm aware, unless something connects here, which the only thing I can think of would be another one of these little branch offs. But that is it. And there's only two days left until summer. So let's get back to the surface real fast. Witness isn't an, or, yeah, witness isn't an issue anymore. Let me throw this back on. Even if it's not raining on the surface right now, it's raining down here. I hate that about spring. Oh, I hate that about spring. It's a constant pain in my butt. Okay, so we're going to see a lot of spiders. Or spiders. I wish we could see a lot of those. A lot of rock lobsters. Yep. <laughs> yep. Clip this. Let's go back to the surface. And we need to head home real fast. Make sure our ice blink are ready to go. Uh, I th don't have a tent. Pro oh, hello. Yep, see, see how these guys are already back on the surface? They were not here before. They were... Oh. You know, now that I think about it, why do these guys just now follow me? They should have been following me the whole time we were down there. It's also a scary thought that a boss could spawn, if I'm not mistaken. And we've got a hound attack, of course. And it's spring, so it's going to be annoying. Um, this place is already charbroiled, so I'm not missing a lot. I don't think the spiders are going to be much help. Because, of course, they're you're dealing with the rock lobsters. But if I get them to aggro onto each other, that'd be good. Oh, wait, no. They're blue hounds. Duh, what am I thinking? I thought I had fire hounds for some reason. So, it looks like he just attacked a rock lobster. And it looks like that they're all attacking a rock lobster. Don't worry, eventually the aggro will break off from me. I saw that coming. I got stuck. I deserved it. They'll start breaking off here. Give that extra meat. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I'll capitalize on this. I like this. See, you can bring cave spiders to the surface, but you can't bring their nests. To my knowledge. I've never found a way to do it. These spiders will stay on the surface and they'll sleep, but they won't, like, make their own spalactite, or whatever they're called. Well, he just killed him. So, yeah. You just have to deal with the rock lobsters. Remember, these guys weren't all on the surface. And notice how they're all babies? They've just spawned, quote-unquote, here. They weren't supposed to be here. I've, I've just got to kind of accept that they're here. It sucks, but it is what it is. You guys, are, you guys are almost done sorting this problem out. Looks like the rock lobsters are finally uh, fighting the hounds. Look at that meat. Now, it's free monster meat for me. I needed it anyway. Well, I don't any glands. I could get hit, but I'll be fine. Hound teeth. Good thing I don't live over here and it's not like a mess in my backyard. Never, never make a base next to the cave entrance. Never. I would, I will never do that knowing what I know. You guys almost done? Yeah, I'll eat these. It's all we're coming. That's a lot of carrots I just shoved in my face hole. That's also a lot of monster meat we got out of this. I'm not sure why those guys weren't following me. Because there's no way the timers ran out as fast as they stopped following me. Uh, hey, look up. Do we have a boss? Uh, I feel like my screen just shook. <laughs> uh, I'm not hearing it or seeing it anymore. I felt like it shook. I could have just been paranoid. But yeah, you can come back to the surface and have a boss spawn. I mean, look, when I come back to the surface, I had that hound attack spawn. Or happen. It's because you're away for so long that... It, it like catches up, it realizes, hey, I'm at day 301. Uh, we were due for a hound attack, you know, how many days ago? So it throws a hound attack at you. Something to be mindful of. I shouldn't need to bring a thermal stone down there. Shouldn't. <laughs> Operative word. Should not. Uh, <laughs> Operative words, I guess. Uh, I don't think we will. I don't think we'll need it. Uh, we'll be underground anyway. 
I can always make an endothermic fire pit, and I think that wise to make one of those. Chester, yeah, what I'll do is I'll put you down here. You're very likely going to die, but... Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to bring him. I can't justify it. He, he's more of a hindrance. He really is. I can't keep worrying. I can't rely on that inventory. That's what the Krampus sack's for. Well, let's be honest. Can't rely on that inventory. Let me pick up all this stuff. This is something I can rely on. Glomer goop. So, he can die. I'll take take my stuff back. This can turn into rot. Uh, well, let's go combine this stuff. Chester, you just, you just stay there and die, buddy. I, I love you, but not that much. <laughs> I'll put this in here. It can turn into rot again. Yeah, I figured all this stuff would be going bad. That's fine. I, we have plenty of monster meat on us. Now, let's take the sewing kit. And let's fix all of our stuff. So, umbrella, Bam. Tambo Shanter. Bam. Eyebrella should be over here. Okay. Glomer Gloop has a chest. Yep. And we can turn the ice to so and come tomorrow. I have glow berries so I can sit here throughout the night. Or not glow berries, uh, light bulbs. I'll bring the glow berries because... Duh. Do I want to bring the spider nests? I was thinking of putting them on the surface, but if I want any allies, I can't ca I can't cause the dangling spiders down there to aggro onto me to, to befriend them. I'd have to use another enemy. Uh, it might just be easier to bring those nests. It's only four. When I, when I leave, I can bring them home with me, obviously. Uh, food's good. I want to bring a, a tent down there, and I want to bring an endothermic fire pit down there. So I will take these. Yeah, let's get a stack of three on me. Go ahead and find some cut stone. And I'm going to need two doodads, so that's two more cut stone. I'm going to need more cut stone, aren't I? So let's just do that. Ah, uh, gold. Yeah, we just drop this for now. Let's make our doodads. Need two, right? Make two of you. We need to make two, two, two more cut stone and two niter, which I, th yep, I thought I had. I do. So let's find two more of you. I can put the rocks away. Don't need that. I only need two, and we'll put one of those down there just in case. Just in case. Why the hell not? Let's be prepared. It wouldn't hurt to bring grass tufts. That's something I did do previously. Grass and twigs down there. Like I can, you can farm them down there. Unless they've changed it, obviously. Uh, I'm just going to drop this stuff. So, uh, yeah, let's fill up my belly the right way. This might not be, this might not work entirely too, as well as I think it is, but let's, let's try it. No, don't examine the fireflies. Let's get, let's do it twice. Let me make some meatballs. No, don't eat the goddamn ice! <laughs> Good thing ice is super easy to get. Next day is going to be summer. So, be prepared. The monster meat just turned into rot in my inventory. So, well, that's okay. I've got rot, a rot chest. That works for me. Okay, I, I can bring some monster jerky, but I'll be bringing all this stuff to befriend you guys. Sanity is obviously a concern at the moment. Let me... Didn't pick up some of these. That's fine. That works for me. Get some sanity back this way. Obviously, keep playing my Tamo Shander. Eat these petals. Okay, so the meatballs were surprisingly good looking. I I thought that they would be worse off because of the durability of the monster meat that went in, but we're okay. Make one more of you. So now we have the endothermic fire pit created. I want a under survival. I don't know if I've even made one in this world. No, I haven't. So it's silk, uh, twigs, yes, and three rope. Very easy. Let's go ahead and do that. So you can guess I'm making a tent, and that'll go down in my little base camp. We'll build that down there. For a roll, straw roll, yes, to lean to, lowers your warmth. Slated pack, piggyback. Uh, I have gears, right? I can make an ice box and put it down there. I mean, we're, we're kind of moving in. That, that's the whole point. And what else do I need? Two boards? Take a guess here, two boards? Yeah! <laughs> One rock. That's okay. It's fine. Not worried about it. So, I'm not sure why I thought boards, but that's okay. Nope. 
Thank you. Use that for fuel here. Might need to with what man, look at look at the way the rain's coming down. This torrential. Torrential downpour. Should not need any drying racks down there. I don't know if bees work. You could put you could put you could plant flowers. I don't know if bees work. If they do, that'd be really, really good. I might consider it. It's relatively easy to make. We have we have access to honeycombs, so I can get bees. Bee box down. They might need to relocate some turf. That's something you can do: is bring turf from the surface down. I'll plant some pine cones. We'll get some trees going. Uh, even those meatballs. Nice shy lightning. Umbrella. I don't. I don't need you. I don't need you in my life. So what else do we need? Grass tufts and twigs. Well, they're any easy to get to. Grass tufts there are, and of course we can get the, all the guano in the world down there. I have rot. I'll bring a stack of forty rot. I'll leave these boards behind. Let's do that. Mine this, that, bam, zah. Okay, so let's bring some grass tufts and some twigs down there. I got the inventory. We very likely will make a few trips doing this. That's a stack of 40. What's this? A stack of 39. Take that. We'll eat the meatballs before we go down. So, uh, let's leave the ice flingomatics and stuff on for now. This also scares me because we're going to be dealing with Dragonfly. And I might want to have my blow darts. Sh should be over here, one of these chests. Hmm. It scares me because I know we should keep these equipped when we come back to the surface. I, I don't know, do I... <laughs> you know I want Dragonfly. I don't want to be down there the whole time and miss the spawn. I don't know if I want to tough it out and stay on the surface. Eh, that's, that's such a, that's such a d difficult decision. Alright, well, you know what I'm going to do? I'll leave this here. I'll leave this here. This is paranoia. But, I'm going to get 20. And then 20 more. And then I'm going to go work on the grass tufts. Okay, so let's go work on the grass tufts and twigs. We'll start moving things down underground. I w that spider's phasing in and out of reality. I will turn on the ice flingomatics. Tomorrow should be summer. And I'll leave them on. Uh, I'll tend to them as needed, but I'll start setting up base camp down there. It's going to take a little bit. There's there's definitely some some work to be had. Put you here. Just get a few of these. Sanity is doing okay. I could put on the Tamo Shanter if I needed to. Wetness is fine. I could fr I could befriend you guys if I needed some food, but right now we have another goal. So there are. Twigs and grass. Lots, of, yeah. There's lots of twigs up here, and a good handful of grass. So let's go over this way. I don't need much. I don't need a ridiculous farm like I have up here. It's only for like the occasional torch or rope or maybe a tool, something you know of that nature. So let's go ahead and break you or eat you. Take this. And this is what I'm considering. I mean, I could put bee boxes down there, not have to worry about them ever burning. I, I what I what I worry about is light. I don't know how that's going to work. I don't know if they need light. I'd have to look into that one. Uh, we can bring grass turf. That's a non-issue. I could bring flowers. Again, non-issue. Just don't know how I'm going to handle that. Looks like I might have to leave this grass here because we don't need it. So I don't want to dig up all the stuff. This is resources. These are resources like if I die, I have grass here. So I want to go up north. Like here is where I was looking. It's like up here in this little alcove. There was tufts. There was twigs. So we should be fine. Let's just get a stack of ten of each, because that's obviously that's all you can hold. I'll leave you here. Yeah, I'm leaving a bunch of grass on the ground that'll very likely come. Is that ground shaking? Is, is there is there a boss on the ground? Like, what what is? Sh what, my screen was definitely shaking there. I can't be that crazy. I swear to God, it just happened. What is going on? I don't know. Weber's not saying anything. Yep. I'm just paranoid. I'm not even going to worry about it. Not, not like a boss can do much to me anyway. I'll just go down to the caves. And I've got more than enough blow darts to get whatever comes at me. So, whatevs. Get rid of you. We need five more twigs and two more now. Uh, grass tufts. Eh, one more. Two more. Okay. Are there enough? Yeah, there's enough twigs over here to do what I want. Any sapling? Or any grass? Yep, there's grass. Gotta make another tool. That was long overdue. That thing's been broken. <laughs> Very close to being broken. Same with the axe. Same with the pick. 
I've been carrying around a lot of broken tools. And pick you up, and I need three more saplings. So no more grass, three more saplings. And we are back down into the caves, and we're putting stuff away. Chester, obviously, would be very useful for this. But, I don't know, he's going to freaking die every three seconds, so I want to deal with that. Yeah, we're going to be running through the spiders. See, these are the decisions I worry about. I, sh I really should go get Chester, shouldn't I? I just can't rely on him. I'm not going to do it. Nope, I can't rely. I can't let myself get used to having his inventory. I can't do it. I can't do it. Not with all the spiders. I, I don't want to think, oh, Chester's going to have this, or oh, I have this much room. No, I just need to get used to what I have. I, I know people will want me to use Chester, and I want to use Chester, but I don't want to let myself rely on that crutch. Let's go down here. It just doesn't work very well with the whole spider base idea. I mean, that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to have spider nests around my base for protection and, and friends and food. <laughs> friends and food. They are both my friends and my food. Yeah, you can tell your friends in real life that they're also your food. See how that goes for you. But you know what I mean. It's just, and they, they don't mix. And you can see, you can probably see, it's getting a little bit framey right now. At least I can feel it. Really annoying. And we don't want to go this way. We want to go over here. And the rot is obviously so I can fertilize some stuff here. We can use it as fuel. Need be. I can cut straight through here. Cool beans. Hey, it's worth eating these. If you have an inventory slot. Yeah, but we, we really didn't get lucky in the way of swamps, huh? We got two little, like, rinky-dink patches. We got really unlucky. I mean, heck, in my other world, you probably had a biome like this right there of all, all swamp and all reeds. Not in this cave. We still have two other caves, I think, to explore, so not all is lost. You know what I'll do? I'll attempt it. Is we'll attempt to bring some of you down with me into the ruins, because you guys can be useful. You can be very useful. So let's try to bring them with me. And also remember that Chester died over by the ruins entrance. So there's a few things of loot that I'll have to pick up on my way back. And I think I forgot to turn on a nice phlegomatic on the surface, but it should be okay. Because I'll be running straight to it when I need to turn it on. It's the one by my farm. I turned uh, both the ones on at home. You guys aren't out and about. Good. Let's move now. And can I bring the rock lo eh, Well, I guess I can't rely on the rock I guess I can't bring rock lobsters down there because the spiders are going to fight. Eh, damn. That sucks. So, Chester died where? Like right here? Yep, there he is. All the tentacle spikes. A couple reeds. A free sewing kit. I'll take that down with me. Nothing I'm worried about. It's, it's all going to stay there. It's not going to go anywhere. Let's go down into the ruins. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see what we've got going on down here. So this is obviously generating because I, I have not been here yet. I'll have to find a, a good spot that doesn't have rifts. That's what I do. Is you find a spot that doesn't have a lot of rifts nearby. So you don't have terror beaks and nightmare beasts or whatever the heck they're called. Spawning left and right. It's really annoying. That was really framey. That's fine. Let me zoom back out. I'm already hearing things. Yep, yep, like that. See, that's not what you want to set up your base near. Nope. He's probably aggro to me. And I'm hearing you. Hey, are you my friend? Well, you are now. So, I can deal with him. That's not a problem. What I need to do is have the rock lobster take care of the depth worms. So, I can kill you. You're, you're a non-issue. i to worry about you. Nope, don't want to attack him. Trying to, trying to attack this dude. Nope, I can't get hit by the cave or depth worm. This is why I need multiple rock lobsters, because he's just going to hurdle up like that. Yep, that's gonna hurt. Yep. Yep, don't get hit by those guys. Nope. Alright, well, let's tough it out a little bit. I need to be able to hit this thing. Okay, kill you. You only got a few more hits left in them, the nightmare thing. They don't have that much HP. They're very easy to deal with. A very easy mechanic. Hat's gonna run out soon, so I'll have to get my backpack. Or I could do this. Let's do this. Oink, oink, oink. Nope. Ouch. Log suit's doing fine. Just gotta kill this dude. There he goes. So, now I'm not really worried. Let's get our backpack back on. Our backpack back on. And I will take a few more of you. So what I've noticed is there's not too many rifts over here. There's a rift right next to the entrance, which is spooky. But nothing... 
No rifts here. So it's looking like this is an okay to pl okay place to set up shop. What I what I would like, I mean, obviously I can't do it right there because there's rifts, is to find a bunch of natural sources of light, which are obviously these little guys, and set up base. So, so you have a natural source of light on top of your light in case something goes horribly, horribly wrong. Eh, so far it's not not really working out in my favor. Not really finding that many light bulbs. Nice try. I caught you there, buddy. Eh, I'll get a little bit of sanity back, sure. And sure, I mean, also, the, the HP's quite nice, because that hurt. Uh, I, I left the glands at home. That was a smart decision. But it's not looking like I'm finding the light bulbs. So we'll rely on our natural sources of light. I could bring fireflies down here. I've done that last, I did that last time, that was really cool. Use fireflies to keep things lit up. There is a rift over there, so that's not cool. And there's a rift over there. So right around here is where I want to set up shop. Let's do that now. And we've placed that fire pit for some reason it wasn't working. But now I can throw this on. And I have nothing to heal on. So that sucks. Gotta be careful. Uh, I'm not going to need anywhere near this much rot, so let me just get the fire kind of roaring here. And what I will very likely need to do, I don't know if this is going to let me plant. We'll figure it out. Let's just try it like right here. Okay, it will. I thought, I thought that was I thought that was a death worm for a second. I saw a glow. I'm like, what is, what is this? Hey, buddy. Hey, you're ruining my plans. I'm trying to set up a house. Why, why you got to do, do this? Rock Lobster, how you doing, bud? Yeah, camera's rotated. <laughs> no wonder I was going the wrong way. Rock Lobster's probably still getting his butt kicked in. I don't know what he's doing. I don't even see him anymore. Well, screw him. He wasn't a friend of mine. We'll use the spiders. I'll go ahead and slop. Where, where is he? I'm hearing him fight, but he was... Oh, he oh he teleported. Okay. He was over here, but he teleported. So he's getting his butt whooped. That is to be expected. I am going to start placing some spiders down. Because that is one of the perks of being me. Spiders. Not me in real life, of course. That'd be weird if I could make spider eggs. That would that would raise a lot of questions. So if they want to come after me in aggro, that's cool. I will just pull them into the spiders and feed the spiders some food. And I will have some friends. But for now, I'm going to start planting some saplings. Kind of closely knit. Doesn't have to be perfect. This is not a permanent base by any stretch of the word. This is just a means to an end. Just to make life easier as I, I farm things down here. Yeah, I was going to say, these just give you health, right? Looks like that's the case. One HP here and there is nice. Because we are quite hurt. So, grass tufts. Here you are. Let's go ahead and drop you guys. So, I mean, just one single line of them. That's plenty. And it's just for the occasional rope and stuff. And boink, yoink. There we are. And let's go ahead and fertilize it, obviously. That rock lobster is just... No, no shit's given. Just nope. Just sitting there tanking it all. He is a beast. Alright, so we've got all these. Let's make sure our hat is fueled in case we need to skedaddle. Sanity is obviously going up. It's slow, but it's going up down here. And that's the important part. Now, I need to make a run back to the surface because one, I want spider glands. Um, I'm not sure. I might make a few chests down here, so I'm going to need some logs. I can start. I don't think I can plant, can I plant the pine cones. Let's test this. Good. Uh, I'll have to end up, I see you, but I'll have to bring some grass turf down here. Uh, what was it that I couldn't place? I thought there was something I couldn't place. Maybe I just did grass turf last time because it looked pretty. Hey, are you going to aggro the spiders? No, you're not going to aggro the spiders. Interesting. Rock lobsters may aggro the spiders. So let's, uh, let's deal with the cave in here, obviously. It's just, uh, not, not die to something stupid like that. We're very hurt. You gotta be careful. Yeah, nope. Nope. I'm not sure if I want to bring some rock lobsters down here or what, because these guys aren't coming out. I could bring the eye bone down and just use Chester as, you know, constant bait. That'd work. That'd work really well, to be honest. So, let's, uh, let's head back to the surface. I don't think there's anything else. Oh, I guess I could drop the tent and throw the ice box. Let's do that. So the ice box is... You gonna attack me? You're gonna attack me. I'm not, take, not taking another one of your hits. So, let me pull him a little bit away. Let's put the tent down and put the ice box down. You still following me? There you are. Make you miss. And ice box can go right here. And tent. 
Oh, no, back, back. Tent. Eh, I guess I'll put you right there. And you were getting your butt whooped. You poor bastard. I should try feeding him, see if that brings him back out. No, I said build tent. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to What are you doing? No! Now I have to distract him again. Stop it. Stop it. Let's try this once more. Maybe I have to put grass down? Can't be that stupid, come on. Yeah, it was just the game being silly. So we can use that if need be for HP and sanity, of course, at the cost of hunger. Let me try something. Does this still work? He'll, he'll very likely just yep, hurdle back up because he's getting he's getting hammered. There's four of them there. So there's not much we can do about that except for bring some reinforcements for him. So what I'm going to do is not get attacked. I'm going to wrap it up here, guys. This was episode 100, Milestone. Ruins have been entered. We already have the beginnings of a base. It's not much, but it'll, it will help. I'll bring some ingredients. Uh, well, not ingredients. I'll bring some supplies. I'll keep stacking it. Uh, all, like you know, just stacking resources down here. I'll plant some pine cones. We'll have trees. I'll bring Chester. Uh, biggest thing right now for me is bringing those healing glands. I, I'm not gonna do something stupid like die because I forgot healing glands. That would just be embarrassing. And using Chester to get these guys to come out of their nests would be really good because obviously I don't aggro them. And so far they haven't come out during night, so that seems weird to me. But I'll do what I can to get those guys working. So, thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.